Hey everyone, just want to make a quick video about how to drive manual. I'm just going to go over the very basic step by step. So here we go. First of all, for the entire video, I'm going to assume that you're on a flat, large, open space, preferably a parking lot like this. So the first thing you want to do before even starting the car is familiarize yourself with the shifter and the clutch pedal. For the shifter, just roll to the gears, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then back to neutral. You know when it's in neutral when the shifter is in the center and it can move left to right. So once you've gotten a feel for the shifter, you want to get a feel for the clutch. Now, if you push it in a few, few times, you'll notice that there's a point where the effort changes. Now, that point is called the bite point. So if I push the clutch all the way in and let off of it, so the effort change is right about there, and that's where my bite point is. Knowing where your bite point is is critical uh, if you want to learn how to drive manual and drive it smoothly. To start the car, make sure that the handbrake is down the clutch all the way in make sure that the shifter is in neutral and hit the start button once you've started the car it's again important to familiarize yourself with the bite point uh, there's a simple and easy drill to help you do this now you're going to let out the clutch very slowly until you hit the bite point the car will start creeping forward and then once you want to come to a stop you can put the clutch all the way in put the shifter into neutral hit the brakes and let the clutch out. Now let me demonstrate that very quickly. So the clutch is all the way in, I put the shifter into first, I'm going to let the clutch out very slowly and the car will start creeping forward. And then you can put the clutch all the way back in, put the shifter in neutral, hit the brakes and let the clutch out. This drill is going to help you understand where the bite point is on your car and it'll be a solid foundation for when you're learning how to drive manual. Learning your car and learning your clutch and specifically where that bite point is, is probably the most important thing when you're learning manual. Once you learn that and once you master that, the rest of the process of learning how to drive manual becomes much easier. So once you've learned where the bite point is, then you can learn how to start from a stop. Now this is widely considered as the most difficult part about how to learn manual. But if you keep a couple things in mind, it won't be too difficult. So what you're going to do is put the clutch all the way in, put the shifter into first. Now what you have to do is let the clutch out very slowly, slower than you even think uh, you have to. So you're going to let out the clutch very slowly. And when you start hitting that bite point, the car will start creeping forward and then you can floor it? Yes. No! No! Don't floor it! Floor it? No! No, no! Don't floor it! Okay. Start giving it gas. So if my left hand is a clutch pedal and my right hand is a gas, it's going to look like this. I'm going to put the clutch all the way in. The shifter is in first. I let the clutch out very slowly. And so when it hits the bike point, I start feeding it gas very gradually. And I can let the clutch out completely. So let me demonstrate that really quickly. The clutch is all the way in. The shifter is in first. Now I'm going to let out the clutch very slowly and start feeding it some gas and once it's moving you can let the clutch off completely and now you're just cruising around and first when you want to stop put the clutch all the way in put the shifter into neutral hit the brakes and let the clutch out when you're starting from a stop you have to realize that there's a give and take between the clutch and the gas pedal there's a certain rhythm that you have to find between the two now it depends on your car what that rhythm is but once you find that rhythm then learning the rest will become much easier once you've mastered how to start from a stop the next thing to learn is how to upshift now the technique is going to be pretty similar and the main focus once again is going to be a smooth clutch release so I'm going to start from a stop and then I'll upshift into second gear so I'm going to put the clutch all the way in, put the shifter into first, let the clutch out very slowly while feeding it some gas. So letting the clutch out very slowly while feeding it some gas, and we're off. And then when you want to upshift into second, which is going to be probably around 2500 RPM, put the clutch all the way in, put the shifter into second, let the clutch out very smoothly, and then give it gas. 
Now that shift was a bit bumpy because I let out the clutch almost a little too slowly. Now when you're starting from a stop, you have to feed in the gas while you're letting the clutch out. When you're upshifting, you let the clutch out and basically as soon as you let the clutch out, you start feeding it gas again. And you wanna be very gradual. Again, everything is about being smooth and being gradual. So your clutch release is gonna be gradual and then when you start giving it gas again, the throttle application is gonna be uh, gradual as well. Then finally, when you wanna to come to a stop, put the clutch all the way in, put the shifter into neutral, let the clutch out and hit the brakes. So another thing to note when you're upshifting is that the clutch release can become quicker as you get to the higher gears. Basically, you know, your shift from first to second, the clutch release has to be very gradual in order for the shift to be smooth. But when you're shifting from, let's say, fifth to sixth, then you can let the clutch out uh, more quickly and the shift will still be smooth. So you have a, basically a little more leeway to work with when you're in the higher gears and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult uh, when you're in the lower gears. So finally, I wanted to share a few tips and reminders to help you learn manual. The first and most important thing, and what I've been repeating throughout the video, is learn to release the clutch smoothly and to apply the throttle gradually. If you keep these two things in mind while you're learning manual, it will become much easier for you as you go along. So the second tip has to do with parking. So once you've come to a stop and uh, you're in the spot where you want to park, what you're going to do is uh, turn the engine off, pull the handbrake up and put the shifter into gear, most preferably first gear. Now having the shifter in gear is going to save your car from rolling away if the handbrake fails for any reason. So it's a good idea to put your shifter in gear when you park. The last tip is don't get discouraged. It's going to take some time for you to get smooth and you're probably going to stall at least a few times so it personally took me uh, about two months to go from beginner to um, being able to drive a manual transmission car on a daily basis without having any second thoughts so it's going to take some time a good idea is to have someone with you who is experienced in driving manual transmission cars uh, he or she will be able to give you feedback as to whether you're letting the clutch out too quickly or too slowly or if you're giving too much gas or not enough gas so if you have someone with you who uh, is experienced with driving manual it'll definitely be a big help uh, when you're learning as always i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time